Santi is a poor man. A day ago, his wife proposed to divorce with him. But just one day later, Santi won a lottery of 200 million euros. After a day, Santi became a millionaire. The financial assistance let him know that. If he gets divorced at this time, he has to give his wife at least 100 million euros. Thus, he has to pretend to be poor. Santi sneaks to the mall and buys expensive clothing. When he is going around happily, he almost comes across an acquaintance. He hurried to run into a store. He made a sign to the staff there not to let them know. The staff helps him to stop the family of the friend. After coming home, Santi hides all the things in the storage. He puts wine and meat into cheap bottles and boxes. Eventually, he can feel a bit comfortable. The taste of the rich can make us dizzy. At this moment, his wife comes home, he hurriedly lays on the sofa. Till his wife sees him, he hides all the expensive things. His wife, Matt, introduces him to work at a supermarket. To avoid people's suspicion, Sandy has to accept this. However, the supermarket's director is his friend. They have been rivals of each other since schooling time. Mario laughs at Sandy but he tries to put up with it. Thus, in days, Sandy works part-time at the supermarket. At nights, he enjoys the life of a rich in five-star hotels. One day, his parents-in-law visits his house. The wife takes out a two-euro bottle of wine to welcome her parents. Santi is so nervous, he offers her to change to another bottle. The father-in-law asks him whether he has any better bottles of wine. Of course, he is looking down at Santi. But after drinking, the father discovered. The taste of this wine is so likely the one of premium wine. Matt sees her father likes him, thus she gives him some more bottles. Santi is crying in his heart. But he still holds that feeling, and raises his cups. Unfortunately, he exposed the luxurious watch on his hand. He hurries to explain that this watch is fake. Unexpectedly, the father takes out money, and tells him to buy him one. The phone rings. It's from the phone he has just bought. Everyone says that it's not their phones. But Santi doesn't dare to take out that expensive phone. Realizing the situation is quite bad, he decides to talk about his divorce. He successfully distracted them but he also made his wife pissed off. As usual, he goes to a luxurious restaurant to have dinners. Just going out, he comes across his wife, and her boss. Santi is startled. If his wife sees him there, his secret can be exposed. He pretends to be the guard here. His wife doesn't have any suspicion. Santi is angry, deciding to keep pretending to be poor. He takes the pot of plants and breaks at the boss's car. The car alarm sirens loudly but he hasn't released all his anger yet. He even uses the key to slit on the car. He considers the car as the boss, and continuously stabs at it. But also at this moment, the car alarm is off. He is too unlucky. He broke the wrong car. Finally, he is able to arrive at the supermarket. He came late. Mario takes this chance, and scolds at him. Think about the amount of 200 million dollars, Santi has to put up with it. After work, Santi goes to a bar, and sees his friends. But Santi can't get involved with them anymore. Because currently, he just needs rich friends. Santi thinks that it will be more simple if he makes his friends rich. The following day, a luxurious car arrives in the gas station of Pedro. A manager requires him to become a representative of a sunglasses brand. Wearing the product of that brand every day, he can receive the amount of 8 million euros. His friend Marcos also got the amount of 8 million euros by that way. Completing all the work, Santi comes to a bar. Two good friends immediately look down on Santi. They don't tell their stories to Santi. Santi gets bored. He goes to the golf playground to relax. The financial assistant notices him that Mario bankrupted. He pledged the supermarket to the bank. Right after the talk, Mario appears on the golf playground. Santi quickly dresses up like a caddy, but at this period, he should be in the supermarket and work. Santi pretends that he is doing another part-time job. No one expects that Mario immediately fires Santi. Santi tells his wife that Mario got bankrupted. Matt doesn't believe and suppose that he is jealous of Mario. Going out, he sees Pedro and Marcos are driving a luxurious car. Santi thought that they would use money to improve his life. Santi advised them but they just think that he is jealous. Finally, Santi has to tell the truth. The next day, Mayad gets the news that the supermarket is about to close. Santi invites his wife for dinner, tending to tell his wife about the truth. He told her that he won the lottery but she doesn't believe. 
Till she goes to the storage, she sees this place was repaired, becoming a luxurious room. Mei is so angry because he lied to her. Having no money, she wanted to get divorced. Having no money, she still wants to do so. The next day, Mei received the amount of 100 million euros. Senti even sent to the court a pre-written divorce agreement. The supermarket was bought and registered with the name of Mei. And Santi goes to the airport alone. He wants to leave this place, and starts a new life. After understanding everything, Mei hurries to the airport. She sees Santi at the exit door. She heads to him and gives him a slap. Simultaneously, she says that. If he wants to use 100 million euros, in the supermarket to make her happy, he was wrong. Santi got what his wife meant, they return to each other. Two friends of Santi also have a rich life.